Vertical launch systems VLS, have revolutionized naval weapon systems, but reloading poses a significant challenge. The removal of built-in cranes from early VLS-equipped ships has exacerbated the difficulty in reloading, making it a logistical weak point. This challenge became evident during a real-world scenario in October 2023, where the USS Kearney had to intercept multiple threats, showcasing the potential vulnerability of warships when facing swarm attacks. In this video, we will talk about vertical launch systems, the challenges of associated with reloading, and their solutions. So, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Vertical Launch System Cranes and Their Limitations The original VLS modules included built-in cranes to assist with reloading. However, these cranes had limitations, only capable of lifting medium-range missiles like the SM-2. They proved insufficient for heavier missiles, such as the SM-6 and Tomahawk cruise missiles. Consequently, newer iterations of Arleigh Burke-class destroyers eliminated these cranes in favor of additional VLS cells, reflecting the Navy's prioritization of missile capacity over crane capabilities. Challenges Associated with Reloading the decision to eliminate cranes was influenced by the challenging sea state conditions in the ocean. The cranes were initially intended to replenish vertical launch system canisters at a specified rate in various sea states. However, practical limitations, particularly in sea state 3 conditions, rendered them ineffective. Consequently, warship must now return to select ports for reloading, representing a significant operation liability in highly intensely combat scenarios against peer adversaries. Proposed Solution Admiral John Richardson proposed a solution in June 2017 to address the vertical launch system reloading challenges by reintroducing the VLS underway replenishment. The innovative approach involves staging cranes and equipment on a logistics ship, enabling forward reloading in protected harbors. Using a forklift, vertical launch system canisters are lifted vertically from the logistics ship to the combatant ship's VLS module, ensuring a quick and safe reloading process while minimizing vulnerability during operations. The inverse process is applied for removing empty canisters. Advantages and Limitations of Vertical Launch System the transition from arm launchers to vertical launch systems was driven by the latter's capacity for more missiles and diverse weapon options. A vertical launch system offers greater firepower, damage tolerance, and the ability to shoot in all directions. However, limitations such as the firing rate being influenced by the number of targets manageable simultaneously and the risk of missiles falling back on the deck during malfunctions must be considered. I hope you enjoyed the video, so do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.